<sighs> Are you okay, Miss Nilu? I'm fine, but I think the Traveler is still unconscious. We're lucky this guy caught us on the way down. <laughs> Passed out from a little fall, did ya? How fragile. I'll cut him some slack. The Traveler's had a rough few days. We should just let him nap for a Yay. bit. Are you uh, all been waiting? But my... My leg's falling asleep. You couldn't have set him down on the grass over there, Hakai? Ha! <laughs> I go out of my way to save four people who fall out of the sky, and now you're nitpicking my choice of soft landing? That's the most ridiculous thing I've ever heard. I know we sat you wander. You could do nothing wrong, except for... All the things you did wrong, but that's fine. We forgive you. <gasps> He's awake! Morning, sunshine. You were having a nice little dream there, weren't you? Not gonna lie, it was kind of adorable. Oh, thank you. You and your friends fell from the top of that waterfall, and you passed out along the way. Guess someone couldn't keep it together. Sorry to break it to you, but crashing into the ground doesn't take you to another world. That kind of thing only happens in those stupid light novels they sell in Inazuma. Mm. Also, he kind of, uh, set you down in Nilu's lap, so that's where you've been napping all this time. Mm -hmm. Hi, Mon! I, I'm just glad you're okay. You didn't hit your head, did you? Is the dizziness gone? I'm always dizzy. Really? What did they say? The fog you see around here can have a hallucinatory effect. Apparently, it's the work of that dragon. Maybe you inhaled some while you were freaking out on your way down. A traveler? Nilu? Do you know this hat guy person? Oh yeah. He's a student at the Academia. We met during the last Interdarshan Championship. He was representing the Vahumana Darshan. Well then. Hello there, friend. I'm Navia, the president of Spina di Rosula. It's very nice to meet you. So, should I just call you Hat Guy as well? Seems like that's what everyone's calling you. His favorite name. Sure. Whatever. Wait, Hat Guy. What's that sword around your waist? <sighs> An unwelcome encumbrance, that's what. I've had it ever since I woke up here. Tried to toss it. But no matter what I do, it always reappears. Such a pain. Anyway, if any of you want the Hero Sword, you can have it. Wait, it's called what? The Hero Sword. Meant to be wielded by the hero. <laughs> I know. Me of all people, right? The irony. What? You're the hero of this world? Will you calm down? It's just a dumb title. Who else oh, should it be, Pylon? Uh, you? It's just that this entire time, we thought we of were the heroes of the mm -hmm. prophecy. Of course you did. You're embarrassing yourself. <sighs> well, if it means that much to you, you're welcome to claim the title. You'd be doing me a favor. That's not the point! The real question is, if you're the hero, then where the heck have you been all this time? Looking for a way out. I heard there's a boat in this area that can bring you to another world. So I came to investigate. But look at the state of things around here. The lighthouse collapsed. The boat won't budge. <sighs> I say we try to find a different way out. Huh. I think we try to find you a cute little outfit. I was guessing a voice told you what you were supposed to do here. That's what happened with Navia and Nilu, at least. <laughs> you expect me to take <laughs> orders from some disembodied voice? Hey! Going. To find the so-called source of this world's misfortune. The dragon responsible for this whole mess. Wait, we came here to fight the dragon as well. Why don't we go together? <sighs> Grab that dragon scale over there before you leave. It'll come in handy later. Uh, a dragon scale? Where? How did you know about it? What's it for? And... Have you ever considered keeping your questions to yourself? <laughs> because if you actually expect me to answer them all, we'll be here until the next Interdarshan Championship. You little... Paimon thought you might have learned some manners by now, but clearly not! This should do it, right? Wow, this skill is amazing! 
It turns everything it touches into something hard, almost like a toy block. It doesn't seem to work on us, though. It spews out poison and transmutes everything it touches. Huh. No wonder they call it the evil dragon. Your Majesty! Madam Fairy Brave Hero! <sighs> what are you looking at me for? He's obviously talking to you. Mr. Wheel! You didn't get hurt when we fell, did you? Oh, not at all. Thankfully, the young man in the hat was kind enough to lend me a hand. <sighs> there seems to be a village over here. Some of the residents used to work in the Titanium mines, and some came to- I see. I'm glad they're all safe and sound. I can try to use my magic to fold a boat to bring everyone back. Oh, I'll help too. Still, I think we need to take care of the dragon first. We don't want it to start causing trouble when we're trying to load people onto the ship. Apparently, the villagers often see the dragon fly into a space behind the waterfall. Uh, they think that's the location of its lair. Now we should look around and try to find a way in. I'll wait here for your triumphant return. Your Majesty, brave heroes, please be careful. Well, we made it. But with the force of this waterfall, there's no way we're getting through. Quick. Take out the dragon scale. Wait, but... No. <laughs> Paimon doesn't need to ask you anything. Um, the dragon scale can turn anything it touches into toy blocks, so... <gasps> Aha! You want to use it to block off the water! See? Paimon can figure things out all on her own. You're fine. <sighs> What's wrong, Milu? Oh, nothing. Huh. Guess this is the dragon's lair after all. When did you put your hat on? Well, we're getting ready to fight, aren't we? I feel more comfortable in my regular hat outfit. Guys. <laughs> hat guy also put away that sword around his waist. Mm. Oh, Should have never had to use this thing to begin with. Do, do you need to do anything to prepare, Traveler? Paimon's getting kind of nervous seeing everyone else serious like this. I want the baby sword. Like I want the toy sword. Give it to me. Oh, looks like we're not the first ones to make it in here. Wait, hold on! Let's fight the dragon together! They're already gone! Let's try to catch up! Ooh! What's that sound? Is it an earthquake? I... It's on the like Where'd bomb. they go? <sighs> Reckless idiots. My little weapon! Let me see it. So cute! Propagate! Is it attack! This space is completely empty. I'm on bet this is where the dragon really sleeps. Watch out in front! It's coming! Sorry, Wanderer. Ah, another new soul has joined this world. But are you sure his fate will be as you described? Of course. My predictions are never wrong. I just don't like that kind of story. Then you need only do as you said, and let him find his own story within your fairy tale. <laughs> You're right. Then Are the listen pots closely, talking? my child. Your name is... Oh no, that's mean. It's it's the dragon! The dragon that destroyed the Titanium mines! Help! Help! Soldiers! Pick up your weapons! Destroy that monster! Uh, huh? 
Uh, uh. <sighs> How many times am I going to have to save you? Thank you, hat guy. Uh, Paimon still feels dizzy. Um, hey, did any of you also see something strange? It was like we were witnessing... The dragon's memories. Sounds like we all saw the same thing just now. Well, we definitely saw I think a different Wanderer's side traumatized to the story. Watching it all unfold, Paimon couldn't help but feel bad for the dragon. This world might be a lot more complicated than we thought. The next time we encounter the dragon, how about we try talking to him instead of fighting? That sounds like a good plan. But maybe we should figure out where we ended up first? Huh. If the world above is a fairy tale realm, then maybe we've fallen into the next page of the book. Uh, just keep walking and don't fall behind. <laughs> <laughs> hey, wait for us! Wow, this place looks a lot different from the dragon lair. Mm -hmm. <laughs> he seems angry. We just want to talk to you. Why would they give you that if they give you Wanderer? Like, Swan Fury! Like, why? Oh, no! It was destroyed by that evil dragon! The, the stars! It flew away with the Metropole stars! Oh, no! We... We didn't get eaten by the dragon? The dragon just dropped us off here? Hat guy! <sighs> He's just up ahead. Is he trying to lure us somewhere? Well, I'd say we were the ones who backed him into a corner. But we just want to ask him a few questions about his past. He's had year after year of people coming here to try to take his head. If you ask me, his reaction is perfectly normal. He can relate. Maybe there's still something we can do to calm him down? I wouldn't count on it. Maybe his earlier attacks were just a warning. But now, he's actually getting serious. Prepare for a final battle. Sometimes, it takes a little force for someone to finally wake up. Oh, stubborn beast. You really want to get beat up that bad? Oh, we are trying. Are we really going to have to throw a bomb in its mouth? Oh, stop it. Watch out! If you fall, you're on your own this time. Quit following me. That's far enough. Quit following me. He's getting serious. Don't get hit. There's a bomb over there! Just like before. There's a bomb right into it now. What are you waiting for? Music is an act. Can we do wandering like that? <sighs> Are we inside the black mist? It's just a little party. <sighs> Are you sure you want to create this child, M? Even after what I told you about his fate. But there's still a chance, right? Maybe it's a shot in the dark, but I have to try. He deserves a better life. All right, my dear. The choice is yours. <sighs> More boring <laughs> fate talk. I'm sorry, my child. Is the alphabet Unlike soup talking Unlike my now? friends, I don't have a long time to live. All said and done, the story of my life will be shorter than the fairy tales in this book. So I will have to leave your side, I'm afraid. 
Once I'm gone, I will become a star in Simulanka and watch over you from above. If you ever feel lonely, just look up towards the sky. Go forth and witness this world, my child. Make sure to be nice to everyone. You'll meet good friends one day. I'm sure of it. That is my wish for your future. As for this world, I leave it to you. <laughs> So in the end, you're betrayed too. Hey, Mr. Dragon! He brought you some food! You must be hungry! My ass after McDonald's? It's okay! Just keep hiding here, and tomorrow I'll... Oh no! My child! Help! Somebody help me! Save my child! The dragon's trying to kidnap her! No! Wow, thanks, Karen. It's not like that! Listen to me! <sighs> so you're hated by people, too. So that's it. That's really your wish? To never have been born at all? That's not a fate you should wish for. <laughs> Nobody can define who you are. Or deny the true feelings of your heart. Now remember your name. Durin. Wander fell in the void? Back in Constellation Metropole, I heard people saying you'd gone to fight the dragon, so I followed you Like, here. after his fight with Nahida, right, no one cares? He's, like, up, double traumatized again? We're, hole. Wait, didn't we're just gonna stand on top? Just now? Shouldn't we do something? They oh, yeah, that guy. Well, he can fly, so he'll probably be fine. He can't fly for that he long, He called the dragon Cameron. something earlier. It sounded like he said... Durin. That's his name. Oh, hat guy, you're okay. Wait, what about the dragon, Durin? He's fine. Durin. Wait, that's the name of the dragon from Dragon Spine, right? The one that became a part of the mountain after being mm. slain by Devalin? If Paimon remembers correctly, it was yeah. created by. Wow, we're lore dumping in limited time events again, Hoyo. Okay. Right. It was created by Rhine Daughter. <sighs> Created, you say? Huh. So, what exactly happened down there? You've been acting weird ever since the end of the fight. <sighs> so that's the truth about Simulanka's evil dragon. What we saw in the mist weren't hallucinations, but the dragon's memories. Oh, 
Huh. I thought it was strange. The people around the Broken Sea are clearly stranded, but I never heard any stories about the dragon attacking the village. The people we met along the way are probably workers from the Titanium Mines, or guards who came here to claim the dragon's head. Durin probably allowed them to live here because there was nowhere else for them to go. When I first came to this world, a voice spoke to me and said, You are the hero of this world. Now go forth and save the dragon. Huh. Who is the person behind this voice anyway? And why did they bring us all here? Come with me. The answer to all this can be found below. I is this... A study? It's beautiful. That's right. It belongs to the goddess of fate. Goddess of fate? As in one of the three goddesses who created Simulanka? Or more precisely, M. One of the mages of the Hexen Circle. Hexen Circle? As in. Sorry, Paimon shouldn't just regurgitate everything you say. It's just. It's a lot to take in! She created the story of Durin. Well, the Simulanka version, at least. These records should cover most of what you want to know, including the identities of the other two goddesses. Read them for yourselves. It's... Simulanka Durin. And he's looking up at something. A star. This must have been after M passed away. This looks like... a mine. Maybe... the Titania miners dug too deep? So deep that they dug right through to the world on the next page. Yeah. Now that you mention it, this miner's lamp looks really similar to the star on the previous page. The Forest of Blessings. This book has been recording Simulanka's history all along. Look at the size of those footprints. If that's every time he lands, then no wonder people are so terrified of him. So that's why you took the stars. Because you missed your mom. Ah! Huh. That statue looks different from the one in the Metropole. It's a different goddess. This one is the goddess of fate. It's all right now, Durin. Nobody here wants to hurt you. Don't say that, Durin! Paimon made a mistake. She was wrong about you. But it's nice to talk, isn't it? Now that we've all calmed down? <laughs> So that's why you made that wish? <sighs> so stupid. Hey! Anyone with eyes can see that all you want to do is get along with everyone. You just want to make friends. People to play with. To talk to. People who accept you. Or at least... Accept your apology. Oh, well, you've never hurt anyone. Heck, the idea never even crossed your mind. Sure, you scared a bunch of people half to death, but that's only because they had no idea what kind of dragon you really are. Yeah, if you had a heart to heart with them, I'm sure they'd come to understand you and see your point of view. Mm. Hmm. The curse. Huh? Milu? Is it your true wish to live side by side with the people of Simulanka? Then close your eyes and make a wish to the goddess of fate. We will help make your wish come true. 
Just trust me. <sighs> I, Nilu, the Forest Fairy, give to you my blessing and welcome you as a dweller of the forest. May everyone accept you as one of our own. And may the Forest of Blessings be a place you can call home. I, Navia, King of Constellation Metropole, give you my blessing. I grant you citizenship to my kingdom. Oh, me too! As the, uh, Nekomata in Boots of this world, I give you my blessing too. Wait, what's going on? <sighs> I, the hero of this world, give you my blessing. I recognize you as a resident of Simulanka. May you find acceptance in this world. Also, speaking as someone who'd like to be your friend, I wish you all the best for the future. I, a traveler who has traversed many worlds, give to you my blessing. May you find friendship and goodwill, no matter where you go. As for this world, I leave it to you. I'm gonna cry. Huh? What? Why are you all staring at me? Huh? My... my claws? Are these my claws? And my wings? Oh, my tail? Does this mean... <laughs> wow, you look so cute! Quite a radical transformation. Oh my God. Uh, not that there this was anything the wrong with the way you looked before, of course. Oh it's this is just my favorite. Oh God. Uh, nothing could talk. You get what I mean. How do you feel? Are you happy with your new appearance? Does anyone have a flower with them? Or even just some water or paper from this world? Oh, I do actually. Here you go. They're... they're not changing! I can touch things without changing them! Hey, that's great! One more flying friend for Paimon! Mm -hmm. Now the residents of Simulanka won't be scared of you anymore. Hmm. But what about all the things that I did before? That's simple. Just go out there and atone. You could fill in the footprints you left on the ground. Or help the people around the Broken Sea get home. Okay, and you'll come along and help me, right, Pat Guy? Huh? Why would I do that? Uh, because you said you wanted to be my friend. You little... Gah. Well, maybe I spoke too soon. Huh? Lovely. But I thought... <laughs> <sighs> All right, fine. I'll go with He's you. Looking at me. Really? Yes, really. Lying to you would be no fun anyway. Oh, thank you. Oh, thank you. You're the first friend to call me by my name. <sighs> Let's go back up. I'm about to suffocate down here. Oh, it feels so good to finally see Hat Guy meet his match. <laughs> <laughs> Honestly, I agree with Pylon. Yeah, okay. Pylon just never thought we'd see the day. That's all. All right. Let's also head back up then. Uh, don't be scared, Durin. We'll be right by your side. Mm-hmm. Thank you for your blessings, everyone. Oh, this is the happiest day I've had in a really long time. Ta-da! Surprise, everyone! Ah, attacking Street Lamp! We've been through this before, Paimon, come street on. Street Lamp? You're getting a little ahead of yourself! First things first! Would you mind explaining what you're doing here? In fact, no! What are we even doing here? <laughs> 
don't worry. All will be revealed after everything you accomplished on your... I was reading a fairy tale to some children in the Fluff Sandra. I think I just, uh, happened upon an old book and decided to use it as my pillow. Hmm. Good question. I can sense that your blessing for Minnie Duran was a very special one. With this blessing from beyond the story, he might even be able to explore worlds outside of this one. To that, you mean? I... I'm gonna go say sorry to the people of this world. After that, I want to start protecting Simulanka, just like Mom told me to. Now, before I depart, please let me give you a blessing as well. May your future be as rich and colorful as the stories M used to tell. <sighs> She's gone. Guess this is where the hero's journey comes to an end, huh? Ah, but it's also where a new journey begins. The adventures of Minnie Durin and friends. Huh? An adventure for me? You bet. For starters, I'd love to introduce you to my other friends in the forest. Even though there have been some misunderstandings in the past, I'm sure they'll welcome the new you with open arms. Hmm? Huh? Ah, huh? uh, stop looking at me. I already said I'll come with you. Whoa! Look over there! Wow. The stars are beautiful. Huh. I'll bet that's a gift to Minnie Durin from the three goddesses of this world. Oh. Thank you, Mom. Osvaldo Hafnabines! Does thou see what I am seeing? Tell me that my all-perceiving Aug de Verertelung deceiveth me not! Your eyes see true, main Fräulein. Very well. Then, as sovereign ruler of the Imanachreich, I extend to you both my greetings, O Night Dragon from the Land of the Thousand Stars and his hat-wearing servant. Who did you just call a servant? What main Fräulein means to say is, hello, it's a pleasure to meet you. Pleasure to meet you too! <laughs> but Hat Guy's not my servant, he's my friend! Ah, <sighs> now you're over-explaining. On that one. Hat Guy, Relax. Minnie Durin! Found you at last! Whoa, and Fischl's with you too? <laughs> oh, greetings, Outlander, blessed by the Imanachreich. How honored you are to meet your princess in beneath the stars of another sky. Clearly a decision made by fate itself. Mr. Honorary Knight, Paimon! Greetings. I you think both my look mic well. peaked and muted because I yelled so loud about Klee. Hey there, Klee! Have you been having fun here? Yup, loads and loads of fun. There are so many cute animals and a magic train that are so really cute. long and a huge, huge castle and a king lives there and everything. everything. I've been taking Klee to see all the sights. It's been a very enriching experience. Alice's magic is truly outstanding. Yeah, Mom's amazing! Klee wants to build a great big house now, too! So... Your mom and my mom... were friends? Mm-hmm. Our moms were friends, which makes you my big brother! My mom used to read your mom's stories to me all the time. They were great! Big brother? Wow. Thank you, Klee. Can I go play with Klee, Hat Guy? Suit yourself. Hat Guy's a mom, you guys. Go on. Uh, just don't go too far away. I'll come pick you up later. Yay! I should go play with them too. Come on, Minnie Durin. Do you want to come play yes. with us too, Fischl? <laughs> your princess oh, accepts your yay. invitation. Rejoice. Icon. Though you may be concealed by fog, still you shall have the good fortune to witness the true might of the Aug de Vertelung. What Main Queen Fräulein Wistan. means to say is, perhaps we can all play hide and seek together. Main Fräulein is it. <laughs> Hooray! I love hide and seek! Oh, me too! 
That guy, go play with them. To return no. to our previous discussion, Mr. Hat Guy, you were telling me about a prophecy? I heard B talking to M. What she said was... Since you're so persistent, let me tell you a secret. Our child will one day rise from the dead. We're lore dumping again, uh, Hoyo? Is she saying that Dragon Spine Durin will come back to life? I only heard it in a memory, so don't hold me to it. I'm gonna hold you to it. Understood. Her. My recent observations at Dragonspine lend credence to this prophecy as well. Durin's heart has slowly but surely been growing in vitality. The process is extremely slow, but the trend is clear. Uh, what should we do? To start with, plan for every potential scenario. Including, of course, the worst case scenario. <sighs> I am well aware of Durin's past. And I sincerely hope that things never escalate to that point. Still, we need to be prepared for every possibility. If the prophecy is true, and Durin's heart will one day beat again, I'd like to hope that whatever rises from the dead is no evil dragon. If you understand what I mean. Kind of? But not really. And so, when the time comes, Mr. <laughs> Hat Guy, <laughs> Will you and Simulanka's Durin be willing to lend us a hand in our hour What of is Mini Durin gonna do? Real What's talk. What's this got to do with me? You saved the Why Durin of this world. So. I don't see that as a mere coincidence. If there is any meaning to be read into the actions of the three goddesses, beyond fairy tale whimsy alone, I can only boldly speculate that the fate of this reflected world may have a reciprocal effect upon our own world. If Durin of Dragonspine will soon come back to life, we will need many Durin's help, as well as yours, given that your fates are now intertwined. Yes, he's <sighs> a mom. Well, that's a nuisance. It's not a nuisance. To be sure, no. it certainly won't be easy. Oh, he's like, yeah. he's like, I know, There's I gotta kill myself. <laughs> ship over there. Can we go see it together, please? Sure. Uh, two seconds. I'll be right with you. Please give my suggestion some thought, Mr. Hat Guy. <sighs> Hat Guy, I'm back! Huh? What were you guys talking about? <sighs> nothing. He's just like a mom, like, protecting his baby. Like, huh. nothing, don't worry about it. Okay, then. Let's go join the others. Everyone's going to check out the new Like, you know they weren't ship? talking about nothing. <sighs> Alright. Like, we were just having a staring right contest, there. like, no. Why would I be? Do I strike you as someone who cares about other people's issues? He's technically not a person, he's a dragon. Quit trying to guess what I'm thinking. I'm leaving. I'm gonna get out in Nahida and I'm just gonna read your mind. How about that? You're saying he's pretty, doesn't do a lot of thinking? Yeah. I can relate to that. The forest fairy helped us make it! Pina just realized there's a lot fewer people around the Broken Sea now. Guess most of them have made their way back to the Metropole. Does this boat have a name? I can't see one anywhere. Huh? A name? Mm-hmm. <laughs> Every boat has a name. At least, all the ones I've seen before. They're usually symbolic names that represent something aspirational. Hmm. Let's go with the Durin. Yeah. Huh? You want to name it after me? Oh, wait, I named him oh, after you me. You mean to wish Mini Durin a safe voyage as he sails into a new chapter of his life beyond this world? Your princess and approves. Let this vessel bear the name of the most esteemed dragon of the night. The Durin. <laughs> Let's call it that then. Thank you, hat guy. Also, can I ask you a favor? Go on. Remember how Mom's friend said I should be able to leave this world? Well, I want to pay a visit to your world. Just a quick trip, can we? Huh? Uh, is... is that a no? It's a yes, I will make Maybe him. Don't worry about it. idea. If the people of Simulanka are allowed 
to go to Tevat? Then what's the problem with taking Mini Durin there for a visit? I'm assuming I'll have to be your bodyguard while we're there. Don't act like you don't like me. I can protect myself. And I'll do what you say. I won't fly off on my own, I promise. Please, can I go? <sighs> It'll be up to you to stick close. If you disappear on me, don't expect me to come looking. You know you're good looking. It. I'll stick close. Why don't you take the Durin? Now you've given it a name, it'll be a maiden voyage for the boat and a brand new journey for you. Are you leaving, Mini Durin? Okay. Oh. Well, make sure you come visit me and Mondstadt so we can play together I love that Kui and Wanderer are together. She My two names together. To show you the way. Though our time together has Thank been as fleeting as a ray of light in the depths of the long night, the Imanakreish will welcome you with the grandest of music ceremonies on the occasion of our next reunion. As surely as the stars in the sky watch over us, we shall meet again. What Main Fräulein means is that you're always welcome to visit her at home as well. Cool! Oh, I have so many new friends now! I'm so happy! <sighs> Are you done yet? If you want to leave, then get over here. Thank you, everyone! Thank you so much! The blessings you gave me are more precious than any treasure and more beautiful than any fairy Wait till you get a blessing from Jesus. Next time, it will that be my crazy. turn to make your wishes come true. Hmm. The people from the Academia say they haven't seen you in a while. Yeah. Well, maybe I needed some space after being cooped up in there for so long. Anyway, it's a school, not a prison. So what's the problem? I never said it was a problem. I was just noticing that you seem to be in quite a good mood at the moment. <sighs> Who's this, Hakai? Shut up. Not another word. Ah, <sighs> you need a new friend. Uh, I've told you already. Stop trying to read my mind. <laughs> I didn't need to. It's written all over your face. <sighs> so rude to his mom. Everyone hold hands. I can't read my own mind. How cute! So annoying. They should have given us Mini Durin as a pet. Don't you agree, Hagar? Where is Mini Durin? Did you put him? 